We welcome you to Jesus is the Answers broadcast located in Greensboro, North Carolina with Bishop Clarence Humphrey. Jesus is the Answer with an awesome man of God preaching God's word for over 30 years. Jesus is the Answer designed for you and mine. Now sit back in your seat, grab your Bibles, and get ready for a Holy Ghost ride from Jesus is the Answers broadcast in Greensboro. Greetings, we greet you again and again in the name of Jesus. Jesus has on the on the, on back, and we just thank God for you. We praise God for you. We glorify the Lord and magnify the Lord. I I thank God. I, I thank God for his mercy. I thank God for his goodness. But most of all, I thank him for his grace. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Good to see you again. Good to be in your presence. Be able to come in your many homes and wherever you are, just know that Jesus loves you. Yes, let's, let's go to a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come first of all to say thank you, praise you, and glorify and to magnify your name. Lord, I come to say thank you because I realize, Lord, that all, that all that I've been through, God, you've been there with me. God, I thank you for bringing me through all that you brought us through. I thank you, God. I pray for the... I pray for the families, God, all over the world. I pray for the sick and afflicted, the poor and the needed. I pray for those, God, that are saved, that we can work and do that as necessary to get those that are not saved, saved. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we glorify you. Lord, I just want to magnify your name. Like the angels in heaven, they cry full of eyes, say, holy, 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 Lord God almighty. Heaven and earth is full of thy glory. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> Truly we thank God. There is a word from the Lord, and I must hear you along, but I thank God for his mercy. I thank God for his grace. <laughs> I was reading the other night, and, and, and in my reading, I was thinking about what is the greatest verse in the Bible. And I know the whole Bible, don't get me wrong, is great, and every word in it is great. But I, just in my mind, I, I was wondering, what is the greatest verse in the Bible? And, and as I was reading, I was flipping through the pages, and, and, and Nicodemus came in into my mind. And, and Nicodemus was one that you know, and as you realize Nicodemus in the third chapter of John, Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. He, he was a sinner. He was lost. He was, he was confused. He was, he was just wondering. His mind had... Somehow he had seen Jesus work a miracle. Maybe he, have, he had been in his presence or whatever it was. It just amazed Jesus. And, and the Bible said that the Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and he began to praise Jesus and glorify and magnify his name. But he was slipping away from the crowd, slipping away from his friends, slipping away from his fellow acquaintances. And, and he met Jesus by himself. And how many know you got to meet Jesus by yourself? But he met him by himself. And the Bible says that Nicodemus began to praise Jesus. That, well, Lord, we know who you are. We know you must be a man of God. We know you are this and that. But Jesus looked at Nicodemus and said unto him, and Jesus answered and said unto Nicodemus, uh, he said, he began to praise him and glorify him and magnify him. And God looked at Nicodemus and said, Nicodemus, you must be born again. And I, I, I thank God for that. I, 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 I thank God for his love. I thank God for his mercy. I thank God for his grace. And God <coughs> told Nicodemus that you must be born again. He, he let him know that no matter what you think of me, whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, whatever's going on, Nicodemus, there has to be a change in your life. And I thank God. For, I thank God. I praise him. I praise him. And I was wondering, what is the greatest verse in the Bible? Is it? that you must be born again? I, I was looking and I was reading, and let me read just a few verses. It says here, starting at the 14th verse, and Moses, Jesus said, Nicodemus, as Moses lifted up the servants in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. 16 verse said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, 17 verse said, For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I look at the John 3, 16, and 
To me, that is one of the greatest verse in the Bible. Uh, before it says, for God so loved the world. When I was a sinner, when we were sinning, and when, if you were sinning, and when we were sinners, uh, the Bible said Christ died for us. So I, I look at this, the word of God, and the word of God says, for God so loved the world that, who, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <laughs> well, I ask the lady, are you, believe, are you a believer? Are you saved? Do you know God for the free pardon of your sin? <laughs> There's a lot of things going on in this world, but I want to tell you today, I just want to take my time today and bag up a little bit from the norm and let you know that you must be born again. <laughs> what does it mean to be born again? <laughs> Being born again means that when I see myself as a sinner, <laughs> I know I'm lost. I, I know I'm going down the downward sparrow. I'm a sinner. I'm doing a little bit of everything. But I heard the word one day. And the word said, for God loved me so much that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I began to give my life to the Lord. I began to think about Jesus. I found out through the word that I don't have to be lost. I found out through the word that I don't have to go to hell. I found out through the word that I don't have to go through all that I'm going through. I found out that somebody loves me. I was living in a world when I feel like nobody cared. I felt like nobody Nobody loved me, but I ran into Jesus. Like Nicodemus, I came to Jesus just as I was. Didn't try to change anything because I couldn't change myself. But I came to Jesus as sinner broken down, sinner lost and confused. But oh, I called on the name of Jesus. For the Bible said if I believe in him and should not perish but have everlasting life. I don't know about you today, but I am a believer. I said, I, I am a believer. I come to God. I give the God the praise. Give God the glory. Give God the honor. I am a believer. I believe in Jesus. I believe in his love. I believe in his mercy. And I believe in his grace. For the Bible says, for God loved me so much that he gave the very best that he had. And if I can just believe in him, the word of God, trust the word of God, walk in the word of God, live in the word of God. The Bible says, I can be saved. Otherwise, I don't have to be lost and go to the pit and burn forever. I can go to heaven and live with God. I don't know about you today, but I found up and made up my mind that I want to be saved. I came to Jesus just as I was. He took me in my condition and he washed me in his blood. I was washed in the blood of the Lamb, forgiven for my sins. God gave me back my life again. And I came to tell you today, I come to tell you that Jesus loves you. I come to tell you that you are somebody. I come to tell you if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, God will give you power. God will give you joy. The Bible says, for God sent his son into the world, not to condemn us, because we were already condemned because of what Adam did. Adam sinned. And because Adam sinned, all men were plunged into being sinners. All men were plunged into being lost. But because of what the second Adam did, talking about Jesus, because he gave us, he shed his blood. He gave his life for us that we may have a right to the tree of life. And because of Jesus, I'm saved the day. Because of Jesus, I say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because of Jesus, I say glory to your name. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Giving honor and praises unto the Lord. I thank God today. I praise God for the greatest verse. It's John 3, 16. Because we have to go through the cross. We have to come through the cross. Doesn't matter how nice you are. Doesn't matter because you don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't do this and you don't do that. But it matters. What all that matters is that one day I met Jesus like Nicodemus 
I met Jesus for myself. I came to the Lord just as I was. And I asked God to come into my life. Save me from my sins. God is on his way back. God is coming back to get his church. And I come to tell you, I heard Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father except he come in by me. I want you to know you got to come in by the door. Jesus said, I am the door. I am the way, the truth, and the light. I don't know about anybody else, but my concern today is to let you know that Jesus loves you. He paid, it, he paid the price. He gave his life for you. He died for you. He rose the third day. Oh God, the Bible said that we be buried with him, that we shall rise with him. And I don't know about you today, but I come to tell you that you are somebody. You may feel down and out, may feel like a little old sinner, may feel like nobody cares. But I come to tell you today, God loves you today. The word declares it, that God loved us so much that he gave the best he had. Oh God, he, he gave his son and the son gave us life. If all we got to do to receive Jesus is to believe on the word of God, accept the word of God, call and repent of our sins. And God said, if you call on me, I am faithful to forgive you of all your sins. I come to tell you today, Jesus loves you. You are somebody. I want to ask the question, how are you saved? Are you really saved? Have you been born again? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Don't judge your salvation on what everybody else is doing. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I remember I used to say, I look at certain people and I say, well, they're, they're in the church, they're doing this and they're doing that. And I say, if they're saved, then I know I'm saved. No, 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 I can't judge what they're doing with my salvation. I got to come to Jesus for myself. I got to receive him for myself. I got to get saved for myself. Mama can't do it for you. Daddy can't do it for you. Sister and brother can't do it for you. God said you must be born again. And I thank God today. I praise him and I glorify him and I magnify him. I just wanted to ask the question today. Are you saved? Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? The 18th verse said, he that believeth on him is not condemned. Do you believe? If you believe and you are saved, you are not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Why? Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. So if you don't believe in Jesus, that means you believe in Satan. If you don't believe in Jesus, that means that Satan is controlling your life. And if Satan is controlling your life, then he has you in sin. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So do you believe Jesus? So he says here, uh, 21st says, for, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Jesus said, I am the light, the way, the truth, and the light. Neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be improved, reproved. Otherwise, if I'm in sin and I'm living in sin, then I won't come to the light. Everything I do, I do it in darkness. If you find yourself sneaking and hiding, find yourself running around and doing certain things that you think nobody knows about but you, and he will have to sneak and do it. Anything I have to sneak and do, anything I have to do and hoping nobody saw me, it, it, it's sin. It's, it's the Holy Spirit convicting me, letting me know that what I'm doing is wrong. It, it's the word of God that convicts me. As a believer, I can't do anything. I can't sin and not know it because the Holy Ghost will convict you. And anytime you got to be convicted, anytime you got to be, you got to sneak and do something, then it's sin. But he says, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. I come to tell you today, God loves you. I come to tell you today that you are somebody. I come to tell you today, if you give your life to the Lord, 
praise God and glorify and magnify the Lord. Read the word. Get, it, get into a Bible teaching church or somewhere that you can hear the word. Read the word for yourself. Pray and build a fellowship with God. Get a relationship going on with Jesus. And I come to tell you that the Holy Ghost will teach you and he'll lead and guide you. I come to tell you if you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall, he will direct thy path. I don't know about you today, but I know that God is. I said God is. He's my joy. In the midnight, he's my joy in the morning. He's my joy all the time. He's my peace. He's my everything. Turn your life over to Jesus. And just before I close, I want to give you an opportunity to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. No, 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 you don't have to save yourself. You know, you can do it right where you are, whatever you're doing, whatever, just stop and give your life to the Lord. God will receive you just as you are. You come to God and God will change you. You got to have a willing spirit. You got to see yourself as a sinner. So I come to the Lord. Pray with me. Pray with me now. Pray with me if you want to be saved. I know you want to be saved. I know you don't want to be lost. Pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I am a sinner. I come to you, Lord, because I don't want to be lost. Lord, I ask you to come into my life and save me from my sins. Forgive me for my wrong. I want Jesus, Lord Jesus. I want you to be the Lord. I ask you to be the Lord of my life. Come into my life. Oh, God, forgive me for my sins. In the name of Jesus, I denounce Satan. I turn my back on the world and I give my life to you. I accept you now as my Lord and Savior. I'm saved by your blood. I'm saved because the word said if I confess and if I believe that I can be saved. I believe that I'm saved in the name of Jesus. And I tell you, if you prayed that prayer with me out of a sincere heart, just begin to praise God. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Then turn your life over to Jesus. Get into the word of God. Ask God to forgive you and ask God for the Holy Ghost. Oh God, that the Holy Ghost will lead and guide you into all truths. If you need a teacher, pray and seek the Lord. And God will give you his Holy Spirit. And the Holy Ghost will lead and guide you. I come to tell you, if you pray that prayer out of a sincere heart, then I believe that you're saved. But salvation doesn't stop there. You got to continue in the Lord. Continue praising God. Continue glorifying God. Tell somebody that you're saved. Tell somebody that you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Then rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. And I come to tell you that when you do it, God will give you joy, peace, and happiness come from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory and honor to your name. Salvation. The greatest verse in the Bible is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his son, that whosoever believes should not perish, but have everlasting life. God gave us his son. The son gave us life. And I thank God today. I praise him and I glorify him and I magnify the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory and honor to your name. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. The Bible said if we believe, then we're not condemned. But if we don't believe, then we're lost. You choose today. Choose you today who you will serve. And I recommend Jesus for eternal life. Amen and amen. <laughs> Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. 
I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Oh, A sinner like me to tell the world salvation is free. There were times when I I just didn't do right. demanded that I should die but grace and mercy said oh no oh no no we've already paid the price you see
We thank you so much for watching Jesus as He Answers broadcast for Bishop Clarence Humphrey. For prayer, call them at 336 375 3999. Again, thank you so much again for watching Jesus is the Answers broadcast. And may God bless you.